Hello, Chris here with another unboxing for you all. In this video, we are going to take a look at Eternus, Blade of the First Prince, or Blade of the Fresh Prince. For the Slaves to Darkness faction in Age of Sigmar, yes, these guys are all about chaos. Big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this model. And yeah, let's let's have a look. I'm very, very excited. This is a wonderful looking sculpt. This has the vibes of like older school design where they're kind of like, you know, when they were um, just a few parts, you know, like this model could have only been like say four parts, the rider, the horsey, two halves of a horsey kind of thing. You know, back in the day for all you old school war gamers, this model in his pose feels kind of just old school. <gasps> Can he be doing up as a different thing? <gasps> <gasps> very, very cool for everybody out there who wants a different kind of general or assemble him as his, I assume, his special character. Very, very exciting. Let's dive in. I want to have a look at this. Now, I'm sure there are plenty of images out there of this model, and I'm sure the rules have been teased, but let's see what we get in the box, as that is the point of these videos, is to have a look at inside the box what's in the box what's in the box let's dive in looks like it's two frames with an instruction booklet and a base yes a nice big chunky cavalry base so let's have a look at the instruction booklet eternus blade of the fresh prince yes so you can do them up in two ways <gasps> wow you probably get quite a bit of parts because it looks like like quite a bit is swapped out it's really just like the main structure of the horsey that is the only thing that's the same across the both kits very very cool yeah i like that the armor is all separate on the horsey that is very very cool eternus is really cool looking yes oh you can do them up as a hammer or a lance that's very cool some options there are some options with this guy. And of course it also gives the rules for Eternus and for the Chaos Lord on Demonic Mount. A demonic horsey. Who doesn't want a demonic horsey? Let's have a look at the sprues. So there's two frames. Yeah. Yeah, these are very cool. Nice and big, look at that cloak. Wow. Look at all the armor. I like this aesthetic they've gone for with the new Chaos where the armor has more angles to it. It's a bit more like the orcs. The orcs have that really kind of um, hard edged armor. I like it. I dig it. Yeah, this is really, really cool. Oh man, look at all the detail. Oh, look at this big giant demon head thing. Where does that go? Is it horsey? Is it on the front of the horse? It's on the front of the horse. It's that uh, part of his barding, whatever. Very, very cool. Lots of wonderful details. Just really fantastic looking. My gosh. I had no idea that this kit was two builds. I thought it was just one build. But I mean, you know, it makes sense these days, right? To have multi builds. Again, big thank you to Work Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this model. Big thank you to my patrons. Without your support, these videos would not be possible. If you're considering Patreon support, click the link in the description below. You'll be taken off to a magical website called Patreon where there are various tiers of support. Huge thank you to everybody who does. Take care of your brushes, they'll take care of you, and I will see you in the next exciting unboxing or useless review. Maybe a painting tutorial, maybe just a tip, maybe a live stream, weigh the brush, painting live streams, maybe even a battle report. Who knows? Who, who even knows where we'll see each other? But I know we will see each other later. Okay, bye.